Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders revealed her request to God after suffering perpetual attacks by press. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders has had a difficult time since the moment she accepted the position of White House Press Secretary and took reporters to task. She's been the target of an untalented and unapologetic comedian's correspondent dinner speech and perpetually attacked by the press she addresses on a weekly basis as she diligently defends the incredible job President Trump is doing. Sanders sat front row to this abuse and had handled it with grace under fire for months. Unlike the woman delivering the nasty remarks about her at the White House correspondent's dinner, Sanders held herself with poison professionalism. But the hurt she was suffering inside as it happened was palpable, as a camera caught her reaction in that moment as she sat and took the personal tirade against her in front of everyone. It wasn't easy then and it's still difficult now as she has a job to do facing a room full of press, most of whom were at that infamous and insensitive dinner, with every White House briefing. Without question. Sanders is incredible and deserves the utmost respect, but she gets it far less than she does scathing criticism which has been constant since she began her career with the Trump administration. Coming under a continuous barrage of hateful attacks can't be easy no matter how well she handles it, it still takes a toll. Now we know what she's going to God for to get her through, which was immediately ridiculed by her detractors. Sanders has a routine before every press briefing that has helped her to win in that lion's den every time she enters it. Reports from Politico indicate that Sanders says a prayer before every press briefing that she holds. Something that is not surprising considering her family's strong Baptist faith and religious presence within the Republican Party. She goes to God daily for the strength and wisdom in the face of criticism, which he has undoubtedly bestowed upon her. You won't hear people reporting on it in the mainstream media, especially since they're so busy bashing her. Additionally, her kids' artwork hands on a board that is behind her desk. On the bookshelf. She has literature such as, The Christian Life and Character and Gone with the Wind. In an interview with The Washington Post, she noted, Religious conservatives aren't outsiders in this White House, but generally speaking, they are. If someone says something about another faith, particularly liberals come to their defense in a raging motion, but if someone attacks a Christian, it's perfectly fine. At some point, we became a culture that said that was okay. However, this isn't the first time that Sanders has been poked and prodded. Sanders recently attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner, which is annually held to honor journalists and those in the media. The BBC reported. It is an American press tradition that goes back decades, the U.S. president endures a friendly ribbing in front of an audience of journalists, all in the name of charity. But with Donald Trump skipping the White House Correspondents' Dinner for the second year running, the honor of attending this year went to his press secretary, Sarah Sanders. Sanders said the president had encouraged his staff to attend and that she thought it was important for us to be here. After enduring biting mockery from comedian Michelle Wolf, she looked as though she might be regretting the choice. Many administration officials, including the president himself, became the brunt of the joke. Trump tweeted the following morning that he thought the event was boring and that Wolf bombed. Just as Sanders gets her strength to do a good job daily in front of the media, you can bet that she called on God to get her through Wolf's comments and the aftermath from it that's ensued. Sanders is certainly protected by a hedge of angels who have likely helped her carry on with class and confidence since that speech. She's been surrounded with an incredible amount of support from citizens across this country who sided with her, some of which were from the other side of the island turned on Wolf for the low blow. Liberals spend an awful lot of time treating other people the way they say they don't want themselves and others to be treated. They spew the same hatred they argue is coming from the White House, in an ultimate sign and form of hypocrisy, which is unacceptable but expected. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.